So the first thing you want to do is write out your structure so that you can see what you've actually got, which bonds are present. So my CH4 will look like that. Each oxygen is like this, but I've got two because my balancing number here is a two. So I've got two oxygen molecules. I'm going to make a carbon dioxide and two waters. Once you've drawn that out, you can start to work out which bonds are being broken and made using this information that you'll be given in the question. So all the bonds on the left hand side of the arrow get broken and all the bonds on the right hand side of the arrow get made. So let's work out which bonds are broken. I've got four of these CH bonds. One, two, three, four. That is four times 413. I've got two of these double bonded oxygens, which are 498. So what I will do is I'll work that out on my calculator. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with these ones here and work out which bonds have been made. So I've got two of these C double bond O's. And I've got four of these OH bonds. One, two, three, four. So I want to add those up. Get three, four, six, six. Now, what you want to do to work out the energy change overall is do all of the bonds that were broken minus all the bonds that were made. So, in this case, it's going to be 2648 minus 3466, which I'm just tapping into my calculator, which is minus 818. Now, the units here are kilojoules per mole. Now, that's a negative number, so that shows me that this reaction is exothermic. But in an exam, when they ask you why the reaction is exothermic, you want to say that more energy was released making bonds than was taken in to break bonds.